you know the state of my mental state when you see the state of my closet and it doesn't look like it from these beautifully hung clothes right here that my mom helped me with but if you look at the counter you don't want to look at the counter you can kind of see the counter that's a bra okay move these away we're going to Korea tomorrow. I know what you're thinking. That sounds like a million light years away. You have like 48 hours to prep. I've got to film like 50 videos today and then tomorrow I've got to film videos and then I got to make sure that my house guests, because I'm having Paul and Tiffany come and their, their dog is coming. They're going to watch the house and watch our dogs the whole time. So I need to make sure that everything is prepped for them and I got to pack. I haven't even started packing that suitcase over there. It's completely empty. It's empty. I haven't packed a single thing. So I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys my go-to pack stuff. Nothing is in there. These are the first few things I'm filling it with, okay? First one, my Invisalign trays. This one's a little bit niche. It's a little, a little bit um, specific. My fiance thinks I'm so silly for this, but I did this in New York and it was such a good idea. If you guys are traveling in hotels, please do this. So we have a zipperless suitcase, which is important because having have you seen that TikTok where they can stab into your zipperless suitcase or zipper suitcase even with a TSA lock in there? They just stab a pen into the zipper part and they can rip it open and steal your stuff. I have these like crazy uncuttable oh, security ties. So what you do is you find a place in your hotel room and it can't be something people can lift. So it can't be like the leg of a chair. It can't be the leg of a desk. It's gotta be, you know how like shower doors, you can't really deassemble that. You wrap this around, wrap it with this lock and lock it with your suitcase. So no one can even jack your suitcase. They can't even get into it, A. But B, they can't jack your suitcase. And you're like, Stephanie, what are you leaving inside the hotel room that you need to protect with that much passion? My PKY sunscreen. <laughs> Let me explain. I actually have a love-hate relationship with sunscreens. I love sunscreens because they're anti-aging. Koreans are a firm believer that if you use one thing in the day, I was born with a tube of sunscreen just shooting out of my mom like this. That's how Koreans are born, I know. It's been a mystery, but I'm telling you right now, that's the truth, okay? And my fiance never believed in sunscreen until recently. I do now. Yes, for years I've been convincing him, and then his main thing is the same thing that I had a problem with sunscreen, is that I love sunscreen, I love what it does for me, I hate the way sunscreen feels. You guys know, I worked with Pyongyang Yul, like a couple of weeks ago. We want to send you our moisture soothing sun cream. I tested out the first day, and I was like, okay, not bad. Throw it in my drawer. The next day I'm like, fine. Not bad. Threw it in my drawer. The third day, I keep reaching for this. Beautiful. The way it blends. And the fact that it's SPF 50, so you're really protected. But it's very gentle on the skin. Like, it spreads smooth. I've worn this with and without makeup. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I've used this ingredient before. It's like... Centro Asiatica. It's like an ancient ingredient which helps soothe your skin. So if you have redness or if you're out in the sun a lot and, like, the sun makes you a bit heated and you look red, that helps with that. It also contains ceramides to minimize moisture loss. And it's just not greasy at all which is a huge huge requirement for sunscreens for us because there's a huge difference between glowy skin glass skin and just like greasy frying oil skin and this is like glowing skin without makeup even just the little bits of redness I feel like they calm down I think this is the first sunscreen that I've used that's a hybrid so you know how there's chemical sunscreens there's mineral sunscreens this one is a hybrid sun cream so it combines the advantages of a chemical and mineral sunscreen meaning on the skin it has the advantages of mineral sunscreen meaning low irritation but it has immediate UV protection and it's not just safe for your skin the cream is made from nature-friendly ingredients, so it's not harmful to the marine ecosystem. And Pyongyang Yul has cruelty-free products that have not been tested on animals. Because skincare is like food. That's how I see it. The less ingredients listed on the bottle that I cannot understand, the better. That's what they believe, too. So they take out all those unnecessarily filler ingredients that your skin doesn't even appreciate, honestly. And they just focus on the ingredients that your skin loves. Which, like, side note, I do get comments that my skin has been looking really great these days, so... Make sure to click the link in the description. And make sure to use my code SUEP. PKY SPF to get 10% off and I think that this only is going on for like a week So make sure to click the link in the description and there's also gonna be another link in the description Where you guys can just fill out the form and 10 lucky winners are gonna get their free bottle of PKY's sun cream And thank you PKY for sponsoring today's video I'm just vlogging. The world's biggest flashlight. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Exposed! <laughs> and the worst part is my mom was talking to
back from Korea. This is what we're taking to Korea. We got three people and I think, I don't even know how many suitcases. Let's count them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is that, 48 pounds? 43 pounds. 63. That one's from who? That's Uma's bag. <laughs> she said she has vitamins for her friends in Korea. And pistachios. She bought like 13 bags of pistachios. I said, do they not have pistachios? <laughs> they don't have pistachios in Korea? She said they do. They just charge a little more for pistachios. So she bought the pistachios. How many pounds is that collectively? Like 500 pounds of luggage. We just checked it. And the first thing is to get through security and find a cup of coffee. Because I will not survive without caffeine right now. I don't think any like stores vendor. are open. Yeah. Vending machine? What, you need some Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, my mom said don't catch her butt for free. You can get my butt. This is when I knew I fucked up. Oh my god. Does it work? It's working right now. It dropped and it stopped working for literally 10 minutes and Stephanie pulled out her photo camera. I said, are you f***ing me right before we head to Korea? Heart attack. Alright, we're still going to Korea, guys. Why is the international terminal so freaking fancy? They doing us dirty and domestic. My mom wants to go duty free shopping, so. She oh, ran out of perfume, so she needs to spritz spritz for her boyfriends in Korea. It's kind of giving back room. So empty and quiet. One scent that my mom uses for the past 20 years of my life. So, Bulgari, if you're watching this. My mom is so shocked right now. It's $50 more than if she bought it at like a Nordstrom. She's shocked. We're looking for coffee. So I have a master plan for everyone. The flight is 15 hours. We're gonna stay up for the first eight hours and then we're gonna sleep for seven hours. And when we land, it's gonna be 6 a.m. We're ready for the day. Can I just say this guy has been a sleep terrorist. He's been keeping my mom up until 3 in the morning every single day to help us adjust to Korea. Last night, he went up to my mom and said, Okay, before you go to sleep, make sure to clear it with me. He made my mom get permission to fall asleep, so we need coffee. I don't know if you guys can see this. <laughs> my mom's dying. <laughs> I'm showing off my merch. Oh, 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 wait, no. Wait, no. Wait, no. You guys are closed, right? Oh, yes. Okay, sorry, thank you. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a rotten milk and then rotten mango. This is a bar, honey. You think they have coffee here? They have like an espresso martini. <laughs> I freaking tell you. He said I will be drinking vending machine. I didn't believe him, but the prophet never lies. He couldn't get a water out of this vending machine for like five minutes. So the guy on the left comes over, they're strangers. And he's trying to help them. Look at how cute they are. And so he's doing his card. It's not working. He can't get a water. There's a whole line behind him, like a mile long. We're directly behind them. And so the nice guy, the one that can't get the water, he's like, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna watch. Maybe you guys can teach me how to do this because I don't know how to work this vending machine. So then the guy that was helping him gets a water. The mystery machine just won't work. Wait, which one are you getting? Getting a water. <gasps> you think they get your card? What, what were you trying to get? Do you want like a water, no, a no, tea? No, no, no. Let me use my card. Y'all go through. Y'all finish. <laughs> I you. you want a water? Okay, okay. <laughs> it's so suspenseful. <laughs> Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Uh, here you go. 
Thank you. You want an energy drink, right? Yeah, one of the monsters. Is it ice cold or no? It's warm. Ice cold. Oh, mother forkers. No, it's not. <laughs> I feel like I should put a post it so people don't waste Wait. money. Wait. I want it. Did he pick up nothing? Bro. We just got scammed. We just got scammed. It says sold out. It's not What do you mean sold out? <laughs> Bro, this is a drama. This is a whole saga. <laughs> Did they charge us? I uh, Probably, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we got it. Oh. Coca Cola bending? Count your fucking days. There's literally another person who just walked off from this machine because he paid and nothing came out. There's something fishy going on in here. I just spent a million dollars on these Jeez. bending machines. <laughs> So this is my first time ever in Korea with my mom and I thought it was gonna be like this second generation immigrant moment where she's like, oh my gosh, let me show you the motherland, let me show you our culture, let me show you where you came from, where I came from. And she's so busy trying to meet boyfriends. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? She's telling me how to get citizenship in the United States. She said a lot of Koreans would come seven months pregnant, pop a baby out here, and then go back to Korea with their baby, a U.S. citizen. <laughs> I don't know. So she's trying to what? Uh, <laughs> she's trying to get knocked up this time. <laughs> trying to get knocked up or what? Where's your mom go? The bathroom. Oh, yeah. I'm fighting. <laughs> there are so many Koreans here. I'm fighting, Oma. Mama came back very disappointed and I think she's trying to explain to Stephanie what went wrong. Okay, so basically, my mom is saying that she needs to lift her legs up. Spread eagle. What? <laughs> my mom is in the stall and she has to lift her legs up, okay? It, it's squatty potty, get one, okay? So she goes like this, right? But then it's locked. So then she said a lady looks under to see if the stall is taken. And my mom's just <laughs> So she had to make noise Oh my god That's traumatizing Oh my god Thank you so much Plum It tastes some like orange juice Yeah this window because I for sure will be closing I will be closing this <laughs> bye bye <laughs> no 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 bye bye <laughs> this is our first time flying Delta One International this is such a such a dream oh this was on our bucket list we're doing it my mom ordered the sparkling wine thinking it was sparkling water. She ordered sparkling wine? She's red, no. Oh my gosh, she's drunk. Oh my gosh, she's pinky champagne. My mom is like, I took one sip. And I thought that is some weird sparkling water. <laughs> Lip balm, though. The smell is nice. You want to smell? Huh? You are absolutely insane. Are you seriously about to drink a monster right now? Are you on board? I am technically on board the plane. Oh, uh, I'm bored to You're stay bored? up for oh. nine hours.
just want to say something. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. It's only been three hours. I'm sitting here going like this. I'm basically half asleep. Okay, okay, let me just sit comfortably. A few moments later. I've tried listening to music. I've tried listening to a pod. I've tried watching a movie. I've tried working. I've tried being productive. I'm so tired. Oh, you guys want to see the coolest feature ever? Look at this light. Look at that light. And that's what I call good night. Good night. I'm one of those restaurant girlies so I can't ask for ketchup so I'm making him call and see what snacks they have because I just woke up from the world's longest nap and I'm in dire need of food. I didn't eat much of the peeping pub because I had to poo. I woke up in the middle and I pooed and now it's an empty stomach and I can eat. Also someone's snoring it up. <laughs> but like, why does it smell so clean? Honey, you're too much, okay? I'm you can't You can't be doing this. <laughs> you can't be doing this. I'm so cute. I'm so irresistible today, aren't I? They took a picture while they were getting me through clearing my passport, and they show you the picture. It looks like a mug shot. <laughs> so, if that's not foreshadowing, I don't know what is. Look, we're obsessed with Korea. My mom says, you know in America you have to pay for these? In Korea it's free. So guys, Korea Tourism 101. You look like a crazy lady. Oh man, we're moving I guess. We're going through customs. The weather is wonderful. Actually, it's raining. But it feels nice. This is the fanciest it's Hyundai so... van I've ever seen. Look at this flooring. Spaciousness in here. Am I in like a palace? Oh my gosh. So Everything is so cute. A lion. <gasps> Look at that cute little lion. Okay, my toxic train is being like, should I buy this lion for Sophie? I'm gonna go in first and then show Stephanie. Ooh. Oh my god, our suitcases are here. It's very it's spacious. Wow, I like it. It's so clean. It's very cool. I like it. Wow. There's an air purifier. Please keep your curtains closed to secure your privacy. I want people to see how hot and sexy I am. Okay. This is the Grandmaster Suite. So the toilet is separate and it's like an all marble. There's even like a little mini sink here, which this is nice. Uh, <gasps> I just walked in here and it just lifted the lid, honey. It's a smart toilet. We're gonna put our suitcases here and then here we have the world's biggest fucking fire extinguisher. I'm sorry, is a fire a risk here? <gasps> you got so Guys, this is a Samsung. 
<laughs> you put your wrinkly suitcase clothes in here. I thought it's it for un- sanitation. It does everything. Okay, mm. delicate, normal, quick, sanitize, dry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. nice. And then, oh. The, oh, slipper. Nice. Let's see. Laundry on request, okay? Is it free? Oh my god. It's so expensive. Oh my god. Oh my god. A jacket to launder. And it's not even dry clean. Laundry, a jacket is like $20. Wait, this is not dry clean? Dry oh, clean dry clean here. is... So my mom's gonna get one closet and we're gonna get another closet. <laughs> You're gonna get another my closet. God. So then, wow. this... Oh, this I saw everywhere. It's a wooden box with all the toiletries. And here's what's crazy. Okay, they have a dental kit, a shaving kit, a comb. What do I want to open? A shower cap, a sewing kit. They have Byredo products. What's here? There's more stuff. Okay, hair dryer. Oh, nice. It looks very small. The shower! By Rando! Wow! Mm. Oh, so good. Bathtub, Oma. Wow. Have fun. <laughs> it's very bright in here. Very bright. But this is actually very bright. The bed is nice. Very nice. Very yes. spacious. A little seating area here. Workstation. I can't wait to just like sit here and think about you know, what it's like being in a K-drama. The thing that I'm trying to focus on for the next 10 days that we're in Korea is to make sure that all of the suitcases are organized because the minute that this hotel room turns into a show, we're screwed and we have five giant suitcases. I'm gonna start hanging my clothes right now and then I'm gonna shower because I don't even know where my clothes are. Are you guys a fan of living out of suitcases? I do not. I like to be home. And I have- Wow, you're the toilet seat is heated? Yeah. Okay, okay. This is my new merch hoodie that I wore to the airport and I wore on the plane. It says Rotten Mango. So cute. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna throw it into the deodorizer. See if it actually works. Cause right now it smells like a plane. Okay. Wow, so intense. What is this hanger? Okay, this is so weird. It takes two f***ing hours. Um, Amma, do you want to explain yourself? If you won't even tell me how many of these she brought. I don't even know why she likes this brand. My don't God! Go What's wrong with you? Oh my God, she's making a f***ing vitamin <laughs> corner under the nightstand right now. This is funny. My mom wants to come every day now because it's included in the hotel room, but look at their cute little desserts. This, I've never had such a good, or at least a beautifully shaped hotel breakfast before. Isn't it funny? I thought I over. You're eating fried rice? Hold on, just like one bite. Are you crazy? With some, oh my gosh. Mapo I need to tofu? Get some mapo tofu honey. This is not a breakfast buffet, this guys. Is like this service. is a full on buffet. <laughs> yes. So this is what we got for the first round. She really didn't want to come. I literally said, you guys go without me. I'm not even hungry. Like, I don't She said she's going to go eat convenience store food after. <laughs> Let me give out non bias. Mm, not bad. But is it authentic or no? Yeah, not bad. So I gotta go. Here's the tomato juice for you. <gasps> you know, I used to grow up drinking tomato juice. That's marinara. That's a spaghetti <laughs> sauce. What is this? Watermelon? It's very good. What do you mean, what is this? You can't tell? This is plate number two, and I got a pastry. He told me not to get it because there's so many good pastry shops that we're probably gonna stop by, but I'm gonna regret it. The layers are very fluffy and distinguished. I came to South Korea to eat Chinese dim sum. <laughs> 
You didn't poop, okay. But I really want to try it. The bidet. It's a bidet? <laughs> I'm scared. You think it's going to be really strong? How much do you want me to vlog? Just my face! <laughs> Is it nice? It's so warm, it's like reverse peeing. <laughs> oh my god, it's so uncomfortable. Why does it find my butthole so well? Honestly? Yeah, it's really good. Do they have like <laughs> blow drying? Oh. Oh, it's good. It will blow on you, I think. What is that? <laughs> Did it blow dry? Just a warning for everyone coming to Korea, if you use an American bidet at home like I do, these Korean bidets are on a different level. They literally shoot a water gun up your butthole. It was kind of nice. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna completely ignore jet lag and I'm gonna shower and start a new day. Also, I need to get on this Atlanta time because I realize it's time for me to post a video. So I'm gonna work on that, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are excited for these Korea vlogs. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please make sure to check out Pyongyang Yur because you need sunscreen. You need that protection. My mom loves it, okay? It's Korean Ajuma approved. Right, Mom? Mm, you guys, tomorrow. Uh, also, we're going to be filming mukbang, so... Ah!